Diabetes is one of the most common diseases or disorders in people in the United States and around the world. So if you add 30 million people with diabetes already and another 50 to 80 million people with prediabetes, that's 100 million people, that's a third of the U.S. population. All of these people need more beta cells. It's a big problem. The real hands-on person in this uh, story is, is a wonderful graduate student and now postdoctoral fellow named Courtney Akefi. I am extremely excited to be a part of this remarkable breakthrough. We have been able to make a big leap forward in beta cell regenerative medicine, and I identified GLP-1 receptor agonists as a class of drugs that can synergize with harmine and other DERG-1A inhibitors to induce very high levels of beta cell proliferation. So beta cells are cells that make insulin, and so all diabetes, type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes, results from the, the simple fact that there aren't enough beta cells to make enough insulin. That's why we treat people with diabetes with insulin, because they can't make enough themselves. If they had more beta cells, they could make enough insulin. We found that a class of drugs that's already in use in millions of people around the world for diabetes can be turned into a potent beta cell regenerative drug if it's used in the presence of harming. So with these drugs, if we increase beta cell replication rate to rates that will restore beta cell mass to normal, you'd have enough beta cells to fix your diabetes.